Welcome back to Fanica Pro Basics. Today we're talking about transitions. I have a couple of footages in here that we're gonna use as examples. First of all, I'm just gonna show you the transition tab in the right corner over here. If you just click there, now you have all the transitions that Fanica Pro offers you. And they have a lot of different things. They also have 360 transitions. Honestly, you're not gonna use 99% of the transitions in here. The only two transitions that I use are in here are cross dissolve, through in there. What cross dissolve does is places an image over the other and as it fades one out, fades the other one in. So you get this nice, beautiful effect. But another transition that I use it here, fade to color, which goes from footage to dark to back to the image. If you click here, you can choose the color, the midpoint and all those things, which is nice. It gives you a little bit of flexibility. I like to do the transition myself, almost like manually. So if you press P and bring the image up and press A, back to the arrow and now you want to bring this image underneath the brooklyn bridge so now we have literally one image on top of the other so it just cuts from here i would click in here make sure i'm selected on the first frame of the image below but i'm selected on the clip above i'm gonna come to the opacity on the top right side. Make sure I click the keyframe from the opacity and then I'm gonna come all the way to the last frame of the bridge. You can either click keyframe or you can just push the opacity. Fanica will understand that you're trying to create another keyframe. This way you get a more soothing, more natural feeling for the crossfade. I'll prefer usually to do this method, but if I'm running out of time, I'll usually just slap the transition. But if I have time and I wanna make sure it's well made, this usually would be the way that I do it. If you wanna do something like fade to black, but manually, the same thing, but let's say you just pull this black a little further and you just gonna click here where you want your transition to star I come here to the last frame and bring that to zero you can come to generators in here and you can just have a costume black or whatever color you want underneath and that was going to go to black and you're going to do the reverse in this instance so you're going to have a keyframe here make sure that the first image opacity is all the way down to zero whenever you want damage to be fully appeared go back to 100 percent so you get the and then back to this image i find that that do it manually i have a little more control i can tell how long i want the the fade to go or how quickly i want it to go i feel like you have a little more control when you do it manually this way but it's also nice to have the effect just to drag and drop for those quick effects something that we're going to talk about in another video is masking which also can be used for transitions let me know if you have any questions uh thank you for watching and i'll see you next week